Hi, Mike here. This video is based on something a customer asked me for help with last week. They built a form in Excel that included some checkboxes, and the form was to be used by two people. Person A, this is the person who built the form, and they would fill in most of the fields. They would then save the file and mail it to person B. Person B would open the file, fill out a couple more fields, and mail it back to person A. However, when person B received the form, it was critical that they shouldn't be able to make changes to the parts that had already been completed by person A. So person A did the right thing, which was to turn on sheet protection and only allow person B to enter data into specific cells. However, even with sheet protection enabled, person B was still able to change the state of the checkboxes. And this video shows you how to resolve that problem. By the way, there's been a lot of talk in the past couple of weeks about a new feature in Excel, inserting checkboxes into cells. The form that my customer had created didn't use that feature. At the moment, that feature is limited to users on the Beta Insiders channel. The form I'm going to show you uses checkboxes inserted via the Developer tab. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. This is a form similar to the one that my customer created, and the information on it relates to shipping products from one country to another. It has a drop-down list, which was created using data validation, and the form fields, well, they're just cells with borders around them. And we're at the point where person A has completed the form and needs to pass it to person B. Before they do so, they need to turn sheet protection on. And when sheet protection is on, users can't enter or edit data into any cells. As person B needs to enter data into B13, the form creator set that cell to not be locked. How they did it was clicked on B13, went to the Home tab, clicked on Format. And you can see that there's a tick against Lock Cell. On the Windows version, there is a border around the padlock. On the Mac version, there's a tick. Click on Lock Cell and it removes the tick. On the Windows version, it removes the border around Lock Cell. So what this means is that when Sheet Protection is on, and only when Sheet Protection is on, B13, you can type into it, but the other cells, you can't. So what the form creator then did is they enabled sheet protection. And to do that, they clicked on review, protect sheet. They added a password. I'm just going to add a very simple password, but in the real world, they added a much more uh, secure and longer password. And they also unticked select locked cells. And what that means is the users of this spreadsheet will not be able to select any cells that are locked. They'll only be able to select cells that are not locked, which in this case, as I said, is B13. And then click on OK. So imagine now I'm person B. I open the file and I can type into B13. Great. I can't amend the contents of the other cells because I can't select them. That's good too. But I can change the checkbox, and that's not good. Let me show you how to fix this. I'm now back to being person A. I'm in form creator mode rather than form filling in mode. I need to start by turning off sheet protection by going up to the review tab and clicking unprotect sheet and typing in the password. Then I right click on the checkbox and select form control and go to the control tab. Usually when you add a checkbox to a sheet, you specify a cell in the cell link box. And what this does is it displays true or false in that specified cell, depending on whether the checkbox is ticked or not. You can then use that true or false value in another formula. 
But in this scenario, my client didn't need to store the true or false. They just need a checkbox on the form to either be ticked or not ticked. So that's why they didn't fill in the cell link box. Defining a cell for the cell link is the key to getting this to work. I can choose any cell. So I'm just going to pick randomly. I'm going to pick A1 and click OK. If I then tick the checkbox, it puts true into A1. If I untick it, it puts false. So there'll always now be something in A1. I don't want to see what's in A1. So now what I need to do is go and make that cell hidden in effect by going up to the Home tab and changing the font color to white. So it's white text on white background. So it's making that invisible. Then I'm going to turn on sheet protection. Go back to review, protect sheet, put the password in again. So now whenever I click on the checkbox, it won't let me change it. So here, if insurance wasn't included, it won't let me change it which is what I want. Once the form's been filled in by person A and passed across to person B, they shouldn't be able to change the checkbox. If that checkbox had a tick in it, then person B wouldn't be able to untick it. Well, I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, have an excellent day.